Okay, today we're going to show you how to install a tapered leg. So this is our standard tapered leg. This is our, our this is our actual 28 inch tapered leg in a textured black finish. Um, essentially, the beauty about this leg is that again, you're going to get four a set of four legs or singles. They come with a square mounting plate, a plastic, and a square rectangle. The beauty about this guy is that the mounting plate on this is going to be a rectangular plate as I said before. You're going to have six individual mounting holes: one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can use the four corners, or if you want to use the, the four in, inserts, you can. It doesn't matter. It just depends on your application. Again, the beauty about this guy is that, much like our other mounting plates, depending on the size of your tabletop, countertop, application, whatever it's going to be, you can either decide to have it far in the corner, a little bit closer to the center, or you can flip it to the left or to the right, depending on how you want it to operate for you to make it work best for your application. When we get this installed, the same rules apply. You want to make sure that you get a pen, a pencil, something to give you a good, decent marking, and we can get your set screws going. So I'm going to pick the four corners again because, now again, this is the mounting plate. It's going to be a six and a half by four and a half rectangle. I'm going to pick the four corners to get this installed, and here we go. Get a drill, get your guide holes going. Best to get one that's got as much power in it. I'm just going to use this guy anyway until it runs out on me. Take it away, give yourself enough space, make sure that you're clear and your holes line up. Once you get that step done, again, you fall back to the screws that come with this, come with your mounting plate. Again, from the inside the box of the legs you get. This is your screwdriver. Again, really simple install. Just get this baby going and... You wanna make sure you don't go too far in because you don't want to, one, strip the bit, or ruin your tabletop. Don't be afraid of a little bit of vibration that happens. Once you get your anchors in, make sure your connection is square. The mounting plate for this guy for our tapered legs, there is an M10 stud that's welded in with the cross weld that goes into the inside in the inside diameter of the leg. That way it's just a square flush connection for the female connection for the mounting plate. You get that square, you twist. Once you get the twist going again, you want to make sure you don't twist it too far because you don't want to ruin the cross weld. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure you don't have any wobble. And you're good to go. And that's how you install our tapered leg.